Do, do. This is going to be a surprise round for the guys up top. Oh, fuck. Initiative. Alright. Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. I need to clear the thing. Uh, 16 on again. Let me just remember that. Uh, remove all turns. Okay. Uh, Gabriel. <laughs> How am I? I had 14. Now, uh, when Wade said chaos, that's the first thing, image that came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fate, virilium, and then I missed what was said next. Uh, okay, this has got 12. Uh, Gabriel, sorry, what do you want? 14. Yep. 14. Uh, am I missing someone on here? No, I've got everyone. Cool. <laughs> Oh, was I positioned well, was I? Oh, no, 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 sorry. 40 feet. Boom, this massive beast jumps in front of you. He's going to pounce upon you. So 20 feet in a straight line, and he's going to claw at you for the very first attack. That's going to be a 19 to hit. 19 definitely hits, I believe. Seven slashing damage, and then give me a uh, strength save. Seven damage. So oh, you up, it's all the way up here. This massive fucking... Not, it's not the same size as the elf, it's definitely smaller than that. It doesn't have that kind of twisted look. Oh, it. It fuck me. Flamer, how many fucking ones do I need to roll? <laughs> Boom, knock prone as this thing gets right on you. It goes for a bonus action bite attack. Ooh, 20 to hit, which is going to be 4 piercing damage. Actually, it's got advantage on that, because you're prone. Oh, I got a crit as well, legit. Uh, sorry, so 12 piercing damage from that one. That Goodbye, Adrian. That's me dead. Dead. Knocked out, Down. not dead. Oh, yeah, 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 that's me knocked out. Down straight off the bat. Oof, that's fucking ruthless. Four! Uh, Atlas, and then the next... Save me, Atlas! Yeah. Ah! He bites Atlas down on my fucking out of the chest. His eyes, and then whoop, this massive claw jump forward. Um... Uh, fucking, there's a dead body there. Probably gets over there. This one almost has to run around the size. Of, oh, it jumps over this carcass. Fuck yeah. Actually, we'll give him an athletics check for that. Uh, 13 is probably not good enough. I'll say it wastes most of its fucking turns. It kind of jumps over uh, over the thing because you've got this massive fucking corpse of this diver. So it jumps over the lot. Turns around and it will just go for a tentacle attack on you for that one, which is going to be a 16 to hit. 16 hits. Uh, six piercing damage. <laughs> and you are grappled. The escape DC is 13 for that. Uh, I'm down. Oh, what the fuck? All right. You had a Three short rest. Years. Holy fuck. I thought you had a short rest. I did. And I had. And I lost. Um, I got seven points back. I was on one HP after that Albia. Uh, and then and then you made me collide with the wall. Uh, so I lost. Oh, no. Three? No, no. Uh. So, hang on, I just need to double check something. How long was your temp HP up? Uh, it got wiped out okay. with the first Albia hit. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm down. Okay, it's all in a moment. Uh, Thank God we split the party. Yeah, Aegir, <laughs> sorry bro, make a death save. Yeah, so this save is... No one at once, please. <laughs> don't, don't. Okay, you have, that's your first first point. All right. So that's a success, is it? That's a success, mark that down. Gabriel, you're sitting down there, you're investigating this thing. I'll say you've probably got an extra bit of movement this turn because you have heard these things jumping on that, but you kind of called out the big one to your eye. You can, I'll say both of you can move an extra half your movement this round. Just for free, you're up. So uh, I can I can shoot from down here, right? Uh, I mean, what it's you said it's five feet each thing, right? Five feet each thing. You could definitely shoot it. I'd probably say oh, that's that, what. Hang on, one. I'd, I'd probably say two, that's half cover. Three, just because you're shooting across, the, five, like it's there's enough twenty-five of feet out. up there, so it'd be possible yeah. to hit it. But from your current position. 
to be yeah. from your current position that is probably half cover because it's a cliff side and you're fucking shooting right up right but if what if i was like here then yeah then it's only five feet above you yeah, yeah, yeah okay in which case you could probably make that all right i'll i'll, I'll get a bit more advantage and or a bit more of a vantage yeah i'll move up here I Just will. Hmm? Just fucking launching yourself up. Yep. And then I'm gonna shoot this one. Are you doing anything? Are you. Oh, actually, uh, bonus Stop action. It. I'm going to Slayer's Prey it. I'll mark yep. it. This thing's already flaring down at again. And you kind of like, motherfucker. Yep. I shoot. 23 is definitely a hit. Nice. Good shot, brother. 14, 14 plus, your... plus my d6. Oh, 20 Fucking damage. Hell. You <laughs> nail this thing. and it's, it, it's still moving, but that definitely fucked That's up. max damage as well. Yeah. That's crazy. Nice. Good back, shot. Panicked. Looks over in your direction. <clears throat> cool. Anything else you're doing? Yeah, I'm going to say, hey, ugly. <laughs> Need my turn. I have missed one player on this thing, so. Who's that? He's on 19. He should have actually acted before you. That's all right. I'm here now. There's Tug. Vroom, vroom, vroom. He's running up. Probably make it to about there. And launches out and, and tries to grab, grapple this thing. Do I still have his stats? I do. He has one action. Go, buddy. Oh, you've got a six to hit. Sorry, bud. Awesome. Oh, sorry. I said grapple. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter. Nope. Okay. He launches out and he's trying to grapple it, but he's also from below. So there's no luck with that. First Night Beast. This thing's wounded, blood spearing out of it. It's now got a dog that's trying to grapple it. It's going to turn around and swipe at the, the dog right next to him. It's trying to grapple him. And Not Tug. Fuck you, Tug. Both of its claws. First one is a 21 to hit, just a 6 damage. Second one is a 12 to hit, which I think also hits him for another 4 damage. Tug is looking fucked up, but he's getting right fucking caught back up with his beast right next to him. Atlas, death save, please. Death save. You got this, bro. You got this. Don't let me die here alone. But is there a specific death save on the um, D and Beyond? Or is it just a D twenty? Yeah, it's in the top right. If you've got your HP at zero, it should come up with the option to roll death saves. You just click on it and it goes through. Oh yes. Failure. Oh no. You're down, he's got one of his prey. He's gonna grab you and start dragging you off. NZDM. Finish him off. Uh, finish him off. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna start dragging you 10, 20 feet. And then he's gonna make his way down to there. You're on the very edge of that as he's and trying to make way with his prey. Swift. Alright, what was the go with our movement? Uh this turn, just mm -hmm. because yeah. yeah uh, so extra, if it was like 30, you can move extra 50%. Yeah, an extra, an extra 50%. And is it double movement to climb up this area? Uh, I will say that the the only one that's difficult for you to do, because the rest of these are only like five foot, you can, I would say your person is like athletic enough to easily make it up there. That last one is a 10 foot incline. If you want to like fucking sprint and try to launch yourself up there, you can go for an athletics or an acrobatics check. Uh, it's not too far beyond your normal capability. So we'll say I'm not know. actually trying to get to the top. Okay. Yep. I just want to get to the point where I can, where I'm basically hanging off the top. Okay. It's like I'm holding onto the cliff. Yeah, yeah I, I would say. Right, the village. I would say to do that. Yeah. It's so like from here. Yeah, so yeah, no, no, that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's 45 in total, basically, right? If you're counting double for that last step. Yep, yeah, yeah. Make it up there. So you're just below this thing. You're like teetering on the edge of a rock. I don't know if you're grappling onto the... I don't know if you're holding onto the edge of the rock or you're just rising yourself with your feet. I know, I'll be holding onto the rock. Hand, and then with yeah. my other hand, I'm going to try and grapple this thing grapple and grab his leg. Yeah. Uh, I 
don't they, are they more dexterous or athletic? That is a question. They are more acrobatic. Oh, you got to beat a 16. Yes. Come on, buddy. You got 19. this. You swift. You, drive this right. you are the angel. And then I'm going to action to surge and use my action to throw it down all the way down. <laughs> yeah, just toss it all the way down. The like That is wait, bad ass. Wait, wait, was this thing grappled onto the dog? Actually, I don't, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. I'm throwing it down there. <laughs> the dog was I trying to grapple it, but it failed miserably. So you're just yeah. going for a toss. Give me an athletics to see how far you can throw it. I will say for every... Uh, I will say if you can beat... Uh, it's it's going to be fairly easy. Uh, it's going to be a, a 20 will get it all the way to the pool. A 20 or above. A 10 or above will get it down to about here. An 8. Oh okay. An God. 8 lands basically right next to you. Oh, an 8? No, it's probably down to here. Probably down to here. You grab it, and you just fucking man mode it or chick mode it, I don't know. And it will take 1d6 of bludgeoning damage for that 10 foot fall. And it rolled a 1, I shit you not. It is barely set. That's the ground rolls over. And it's fucking like blood spewing out of it. This thing is still just moving. Uh, Fuck, both these guns are unconscious, uh, right? When you action surged. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. PDK. Do you have the banner? No, that's that. No, no, no. I don't have that. Okay. All right. I've only got. I've only got. I've only got the second wind one. Oh, a second one. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that requires them to be able to see or hear me, which I don't even can. Like, given that they've just, I don't. Know, I know this is kind of like cheesy a little bit. Um, I, <laughs> if you wanted to do that, I would say they can make a perception roll. If they beat a perception of ten, they can hear you as they're like slowly blacking out. If you All right, my boys. Then yes, I will use my bonus action and I'll call out and say, um, "I'll say, uh, don't worry, I'm coming, Adrian. I'm coming. So it's only perception. one target, right? No, no, it's up to three people. Up to three people. Awesome. Uh, so perception. This is like as you're going down, both Atlas and. Uh, Adrian, if you roll above a ten, you're gonna you're gonna get this bonus. Here we go then. Yes, Swift, I love you like a spider. Um, He's the most unluckiest man in the world. It, it, oh, it, bro, Atlas. That's it probably it. makes sense given that he's being dragged away and he's got this thing like right in his face. And he can't yeah, I'm also calling out specifically to Adrian, Adrian as, well. as well. That also makes sense. Adrian, you're like, she's coming <laughs> for me. And how much does he heal the per your uh, he heals for an entire 3 HP, but three that is HP. enough for him to no longer be knocked out. You are still prone, but you are conscious, Adrian. 3. You're 3 HP. Oh, actually, I will also regain HPs. 6 HP, although I only need 1. But thanks, me. And Tug hears you as well, because I want to give him HP. There we go. Okay. He's like, Ruff. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. Adrian. Um, just been pounced on this thing. Is, and then a second later, you've just felt it get ripped off. It had a crossbow bolt. Boom! Hit the side, and then it's been dragged off a cliff and thrown away. You can hear, I'm coming, Adrian! And you slowly, just barely pick yourself up off the ground. You are still prone, just FYI, so you need to use half your movement yep. if you want to get up. Um, okay, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely get up. Yep. Now, can you describe this dead dial for its giant, right? It's that like massive. A big so. fucking wolf. Uh, and it's been torn up, right? It's torn up. Uh, the, the body is fully fully intact. It's just got massive, like, its uh, chest is opened up. It's got guts that have been spewed out. and obviously Chest o opening up. So, like, yes. rib cage exposed? Yeah. He's going to go and taunt on it. 100%. I was about to say, this is very much like uh, the start of the Star Wars film with the fucking thing which he, cl he climbs. Then, up. then yes, I'll yeah, use half my... Up. I'll use half my... Um, I will use half my uh, movement speed uh, to get up, yeah. and so I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to cast unseen servant as I'm fucking diving into the fucking chest cavity. And my unseen servant is just going to see bits of flesh and things kind of folding back up over over the entrance. Um, and I'm going to basically leave just the portion of the rib cage exposed um, so I can kind of see 
slightly are you hiding, out. Of the... Hiding in a rib cage. I'm basically yeah hiding in the rib cage, but I've basically I have my wand, and if anything comes on top of the rib cage or back in the body, I'm gonna have my wand ready to go to fucking blast it. Okay. And that will be my turn. Okay, so unseen servant, uh, you had up from before, right? Ah oh, yes, yeah, he would so have been still up, right? I'm just assuming this thing's following you around. I think he was gonna. Well, I mean, even if he didn't have it, he could just action to bring it out anyway. I was just wondering. Yeah. Holding an attack. Although no, when you went unconscious, he would have evaporated anyway. Yeah, no, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. So I've used my action to create him because I want basically things to be. He's gonna continue to just pile things on the body to just to try and stop <laughs> anything from being able to come into the opening that I came in. You, you, you get up and your very first one is, fuck this, just jump straight inside of fucking... Oh, fuck it, I know these guys. I, yeah. To be honest, I probably don't even know that Atlas has been dragged away or anything yeah. because I'm fucking, I got fucking taken out and yeah. that was the last thing I know, so I know that Swift's got this shit fucking sorted, but... Gabriel, you can see two things. One, this thing's completely fucked. It's arriving around the floor. It's got blood spewing out of it. The second yeah. one is uh, in the process Dra of basically dragging going, this man away. Yeah, it's dragging him, and it's like in the process of going down uh, that that lip there. This is yeah, this is your opportunity. Uh, I'm gonna move. Yeah, so I got a little bit more vision. Uh, bonus action. I will. Ensnaring strike? Yes. Uh, and I will target this beastie and I will take a shot. 14. 14 hits. So again, nice. you're being dragged at the moment. Again, you're like, oh, oh no, again, sorry. Uh, uh, Atlas. Atlas. And then shink! Whoosh, all these vines and such. I think that's how you describe it. Right? <laughs> like, start wrapping this round thing around this beast. Uh, roll your damage as well. Five, it kind of makes sense. And then, so, and then it, is it, it extra turn, D6? Right? Yeah, on oh, no, the start of yeah, its start turn. Of turn. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cool, awesome. He's restrained. Uh, uh you know. don't you have to? Oh, my succeed on stream so save now. Sorry, uh, stream save. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he rolls a six, so yes, he is definitely. That's dead. yeah, no, that's not a save. Is it like roots that come out? I think I asked. Them yeah, there's roots. Like okay, so like druidic magic almost. Yeah. Comes up and grapples this thing. What else are you up to? Uh, that's me. Okay. Tug runs over. He's going to attempt to grapple you, Atlas. Grapple me. Yeah. <laughs> you allowing this? Oh, you don't have a choice. You're fucking out. To... <laughs> Basically, what, what, what argh, he's, he's pulling against the thing and manages to rip, uh, rip you out of its jaws and starts ripping you away. I mean, I'm taking more it's... damage. <laughs> Not from a grapple, no. Hey, he's got his clothes or something. Come on, he's a good doggy. Okay, Night Beast 1. You see it rolls back over onto its, its front and then you just see it hmm, just leap up. Actually, who's been blasted? Oh, you're close, you're yelling as well. Yeah. I think that makes it. Or the one who shot him. Let's, let's roll a quick D2. Sorry. Yeah, you want a 2. Okay. Alright. It's coming. It comes running up. You, I imagine you're probably expecting this, but it comes swinging out uh, with its. Uh, yeah, it's going to go for. First of all, its claw, and then secondly, its bite as it comes. Uh, so. Oh, I rolled a 2 for which is amazing. Okay, first one's a 9, which I don't believe hits. And swift. Sorry, what? Nine? Nine does not hit. Does not hit, yeah. So first claw woof, misses, second claw 25 to hit, which is five slashing. This kind of gouges you on the back as it comes past. <clears throat> Atlas. Yes, save. Don't roll in that one, please don't. Fail. Oh, yeah, closer and closer Ooh. to death. Uh, we, we just need to stabilize him though right you've got a backup yeah, character quick. right ben like you you're inside of a you're inside of yeah, a yeah i can't i can't, 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 can't even see him mate you better be fucking quick i believe that was the second that is the second um, yes sir this one is restrained and it needs to make it needs to be it's been its action to make a stream save so strength oh do you want me to roll the 
D6 oh, yeah, for damage. D6. He rolls a 6 so he doesn't break out. He's, he's trying to rip up and some of the exploding and the next ones are ripping up. Uh, ripping up Two piercing. He, is, he has spent his action to ensnare and he is still stuck there. Swift, you're back up. You've got this, this thing just frantically clawing out behind you. Yeah, I'll probably let go of the cliff and grab... Re, re, re-grapple yeah. this motherfucker. Yeah, grapple him. Yeah. This thing is on the verge of death. Do you want to grapple or shove? What are you doing here? Predator on the verge of death? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll use my action to shove. You want to go for a shove? Yeah. Yeah, push him further down. Uh, you got to be a six. Oh, that's going to be hard. <laughs> Thank you. Think beyond I, I literally... Yeah. I was going to say, I literally <laughs> cannot fail that. <laughs> And just shove it off the uh nah but basically as it's like what, what did it do last last turn to me it came up and just slashed on the back i believe given like how yeah. It's rolling out. yeah so i'm gonna basically like because i'm holding on to the cliff with one hand so i'm gonna drop from the cliff and as i'm dropping down i'm just gonna fucking sparta kick it Evil. as i'm falling <laughs> through the air and just kick it straight off and just for curiosity six damage hits the rock behind it and you just see it's Nick and it's gone. Oh yeah, so sorry. Alright, and then I will climb up the cliff to try and find Aegean. And I'm just gonna be like, Aegean! I'm in the body! Oh, he's dead! Where has he gone? That's my turn. Aegean, you're up. Aegean, sorry, I'm just taking a quick piss. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is because I can't see, I won't be able to see Ben's character from where I am inside the ribcage. No. I am going to uh, use my bonus action. I'm going to use my bonus action to command my unseen servant to basically go uh, um, to go toward 15. So if my thing was there... 15 feet, yeah, sweet. So I'll move uh, Unseen Servant to uh, next to the thing and just start kind of tugging on its hair and on its back, anything that's loose on the creature. And uh, I'm going to um, stick my hand and my wand outside the rib cage, find a, try and find a divot in the rib cage. I'm just going to shoot a random fucking shot kind of into the... Okay, so unknowing which direction you're, you're shooting it, basically, you just... Oh, I'm, I know I'm shooting it up. Yeah, oh, but, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no, basically maybe, shooting it up, so... Um, I was going to say, if I die to a random shot fired by your wand no. coming out of a ribcage, I'm going to no, be no, so no. sad. Roll, roll me, roll Jesus me. Christ, I love the net ones today, don't I? Okay, all right, that's all right. I was going to say, to figure out which direction we'll roll those things, but that's right, you just... And you shoot it, and you just get all the sparks in your eyes, like, ah, fuck! Because the hole wasn't big enough. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Gabriel, what are you doing? I'm jamming out to rules of nature. Um, <laughs> the fucking the song has taken over my life. Um, I am going to bonus action move my what's it called? Slayers prey onto this other man. And I shoot, I shoot my crossbow. I believe you have advantage against restrain. Uh... Oh, against things that are restrained. Oh, yes. yes. Well against restrain, they have advantage. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen is definitely a hit. An eight wasn't hit just for the record. Well, you probably guessed that. Twelve oh, plus. Like... Five. Oh, fucking In between the fucking uh, the thorns, just and it just rolls down these rocks. I'm dead. Okay, you still have your movement. Uh, yeah. That's maybe twenty. 25, 30, um, okay, I will use, 
I just use feel on agility. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who was? Oh, this man's dying. Uh, I guess if I can stabilize him. I was about to ask if the dog could stabilize if you weren't going to get there in time. <laughs> so the dog can lick him. Can uh, lick I've him always got feel on agility, like fucking <laughs> OP skill. You have used your action now. Oh, I have. Yeah, shot. Uh, hey, you gotta look at him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Pat me on the shoulder, there, there, it'll be okay. Over, you can hear him even though you like COVID out, basically. It'll be fine. What's the chances of him rolling three under tens in a row? That's fine. What's the chances of Tyler rolling five nat ones? I know. Fuck. <laughs> well, look, mate, if you're going to be negative like that, of course things are going to go bad. <laughs> Do you, uh, is there I don't know. Else? I, I, will, I will try and stabilize this man if I can. But it's up to... Wade... I can roll. Uh, if you could do the thing I told you to do, that would be nice. Yep. I'm just trying to work it out. I'm pretty sure I can so, roll. Slash to, oh, hang on, I'll just send it. Uh, um, how do I do this? It doesn't show up on, so it doesn't show up on um, <laughs> roll 20. I think that works. If, oh, was, oh yeah. slash WGM, or space GM. Do 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 I'm just like chucking, I guess, ripping ripping pieces of cloth and just like slapping it on the wounds to stop the bleeding. I think it just needs a slash in there. Does that work? How do I do a whispered roll? Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, I'm just gonna roll for it. Slash W space GM. Yeah, or class W, Big Grizz. Oh, you can start typing the person's name as well. I don't know if that works, though. The D20 part doesn't. Ah, okay. So if you want to whisper a D, if you want to whisper a D20, so hover over the D20 in the top left corner. Oh, and yeah. GM, yeah. Yep. And then click D20. And it'll roll it to the GM. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does the fudge button do? It's for faking rolls. Huh. What the fuck? I didn't even know you could do that. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's for doing fake rolls of some form. Sorry, I'm whispering <laughs> these to you, Wade. Everyone's just very old. Okay. Uh, he managed to not send that to you. No. Adless. That's okay, we all saw it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Adless. You find yourself, as everything kind of fades to black for a moment, you find yourself standing at what can only be described as like a precipice. You can hear waves crashing underneath you. As your vision comes back almost to consciousness, because you're kind of blacked out and you're coming back in, it's almost like a cliff face in front of you. And you can see those waves and stuff coming to come out. You can see those waves and such crashing into it. Looking out in front of you, you can see <laughs> what can only be described as like swirling clouds of infinite color. Like rain, almost like a rainbow, like a maelstrom of energy almost. Like a storm that's happening, moving like waves. And you can see... On occasion, these wisps that are kind of, they turn against the tide of these these swirling clouds and break off for a moment. And then, whoosh, like, they almost get pulled straight back in, falling back into, like, this kind of royal. You hear this voice. Atlas. What's that? What do you do? Hey. I guess I try to find out where the voice is. Give me a perception. <laughs> That's fun. Twelve. You, Twelve. you can't find the source of the voice. 
but it does seem almost to be originating from you. Yep. No. And as you raise your hand to kind of part this cloud veil that's kind of come just in front of you to like ease the way and see what you can see out that side, you notice that where you usually had a hand is now formed of swirling mist. Oh. Almost alike to this male, this royal, this maelstrom thing that was before you. This isn't the first time you've had this dream or this vision. This is oh, definitely boy, the most. Was... I don't want to say stable state given the conditions, no. but this is the most vivid no. vision you've had of this. <coughs> you haven't felt this. You haven't had this vision for a while, and you try to think back as to when you had it. And you can't pinpoint it, but you do feel the cold snow all around you. And if you want clarity as to what that means, you can PM me later, but I'm sure you can figure that out. Yeah, fair enough. Atlas. What do you do? Um, yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, for all intents and purposes, do I, am I still corporeal? Or would I be classed as incorporeal? You raise up your other hand, and again, it's the same thing. It, it's not, it has form as such. Incorporeal is pretty close to what you're experiencing. It's almost like you're made out of clouds and mist. It's not your usual kind of feel. Yeah, it's yeah. Close. You're Would it be out. safe safe to assume that I am potentially um what do you call it uh, a quarry? Yeah. You would probably associate this with your quarry. Yeah. So I, I would I feel that maybe this is <laughs> this is my afterlife. <laughs> I understand that. Uh, it'll, it'll basically be more of a... Um... What, what are you... Is there anything you want to say to us? Well, I suppose it would be like, you know, the, 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 the natural... Uh, Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> In that moment, all you feel... It's weird. You're, you almost feel out of control of your body as your head lifts up. And you look out to this royal, this maelstrom, and all you can feel is hunger. Oh, even better. And perhaps a desire that's kind of hard to pinpoint, somewhere between passion and hate. Ooh. Anger. Yeah. I was promised more! <laughs> and you wrench back into your body. Jesus. <laughs> Um, we have one more round, lads. Swift, what are you doing? I'm just walking around looking for Agent. Okay. Because I have no idea where he is. So uh, I'll spend my, my, my turn just like walking around, calling out to him, looking on the ground, trying to follow blood trails. I'm going, I'll be... Um, but that's I'll my be... turn. And I'm going to be like... Speaking out between, I'm assuming there's kind of little slashes in the rib cage, which I might be able to get a, like a finger out of, or you know, like some sort of. Yeah, you've probably. And then, heard, um, to be fair as well, you've probably heard the the sound of like commotion kind of broken down. And now you can just hear the sound of, uh, you can hear the sound of tug whimpering, and you can probably hear Gabriel saying something. I'd imagine. All uh, right, then I'm going to command my use my bonus action to command my unseen servants. Might as well get him out here, eh? Uh, to basically come and help me, like, open up the part of the rib cage that he fucking, that I've climbed into. I'll pop, pop my head out and, oh, how's, how's everyone doing? How's, how's, how's little Tug doing? And then I, mean, like, I see, I beat up all the monsters. Ah, oh, you are absolutely brilliant. I think I almost died. And then I'm going to look over and see, uh, blood pouring out see, the floor. Yeah. Oh no, Atlas. Atlas, what's how's it going? Are you all right? I'm gonna go over to and try to help, kind of stabilize his wounds. But I suppose I'll be covered in blood and muck and yeah. grime and stuff. 
Yeah, so. Giving me secondary infections, it's fine. <laughs> What's infection control in the fucking medieval? <laughs> hey, can I can I do a nature check to see if you said that there were mushrooms and things um, in the cave as we were I was investigating before? Can I do a nature check to see if I know if there's any healing properties to any of these mushrooms? Yeah, roll me a nature. Roll me a nature. Did that come through? Oh, no, no, I just was wondering. I've clicked it. I wonder. What, what, what's ah. this advantage? What's this advantage? Just took a while to come through. That's all right. 11. No, no, no. I clicked the first one before I actually asked, so yeah. it just took a while to come through. Uh, looking around, this is all fairly unfamiliar to you. It's kind of interesting to you. Uh, yeah. Like it's okay. a different ecology that you've come across before. Yeah. Mm. I'm not too sure if there's anything I can do. You... Uh, I'm just reading through. Stabilize them if you like. Oh, I thought that was kind of what I. Um... Oh, yeah, that's what I came over to do to try and, like, I'll maybe tear some strips off my um, off my uh, gown or something like that and try to bandage wounds or anything like that. Yeah, just run over and just do whatever you can do with the limited resources you have. Basically, yeah. yeah. Go for a medicine. Medicine check? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Agent's rolling, rolling, rolling like he's worse. fucking... Fuck, I can't do jack shit tonight, boys. Sorry. Gabriel, <laughs> his last time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue. I've got salt. Does that... Is salt, salt good salt for wounds? Ah, Aegean oh. knows. Aegean knows that salt... salt is good if you want being, to... Uh... It, it, for de disinfecting uh, things. He knows that from his time studying. Salt's and, a natural... Uh... Are you communicating this to... Uh, yes, yeah, if, if he's, he's mentioned he has salt, so, salt's good for wounds, it will cleanse poisons and cleanse infection, the infection that I'm probably uh, putting I'll, on him with I'll my, my like, blood from the wolf. I guess I'll be like, grabbing like a handful of salt, like, salt gargle, a salt gargle cures all! Putting it into the wound and like kind of pouring a little bit of water and then putting a bandage over. Oh Christ, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Just to be kind. You're unconscious, you won't feel it. I wasn't dead already, it would be. <laughs> just to be kind, I've just got to be very, very clear with this now. You can roll for advantage for this. If they both fail, you're dead. <clears throat> yeah, I think Wait, that. Sorry, who, 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 sorry what, what do you want me to roll? You can roll, you've got that advice from um, Agian. Yeah. Like, oh, salt will help, salt will help. And he's kind of like trying to direct you while he's bandaging him up and such like that. You can roll your medicine. You can roll with advantage for the last time if he fails both. I'm sorry to say he's going to be a goner. All right. You got a backup sheet there, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing a cleric to the party. 14. Oh, oh you're lucky. You're lucky the DM is very generous and gave you advantage. <laughs> Yeah. The first, the first press, you put salt in the wounds, and Atlas, I mentioned, ah, it's because it fucking stings. And then he grabs the cloth with Aegis already got there and starts wrapping you up, pulling you tighter and such like that. And you're able to stem the blood, the, the flow of blood, and bring him to a state where he is fucked up. <laughs> but you can, and, and for a moment, you think he's gone. And then you can just see his chest slowly rising and falling. Just like slap him and be like, Atlas, it's not your time. I would not recommend slapping him at the moment. <laughs> One point of bludgeoning damage. That's it. Back to death saving throws. Off we go. No, not like a hard slap, but you know, like the kind of slap to get someone like to wake up. Yeah. To be clear, this guy is basically dead. So even a small slap would probably be really... Even my character sheet right now says dead Atlas. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to start commanding my unseen servant to start um, basically using the direwolf's body and all of these sticks that are lying around uh, to start building like a shelter in behind the direwolf and this big stone here to give us like a, a temporary kind of little shelter place. Are you, are you fortnighting it? 
What's that? Are you Fortniting it? Creating Basically Fortniting, using the, uh, <laughs> the the big dial as one wall, this rock as another wall. And you know how kids start building little shanty shacks as, you know, out in the bush? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of, is just building a little fucking... Right. Building yeah, a little should, hut. You should drag them just closer to the wall to sort of prop them up against something. Yeah. Make mm. like a... So I recommend we put them in behind here just in case we get attacked by any more of these creatures. I was thinking like over here, use some of this debris to make a like, little make a coffin for him. I mean, what? Make a bed for him. Over the next... Yeah, no, okay, no, fair enough then. Unseen servants, like, making a little yeah. bit of a whack. Next, next half hour or so, there's a bit of walls and such going up. Yeah, it's a funeral pyre. <laughs> <laughs> Are you attempting to long rest, or are you taking a short rest? And again, same. Um, uh, I guess take a short rest. I don't, don't think I it's will, safe say, enough in here. I uh, will say that this is fairly extended short rest, given the severity of the situation, the fact that you're building mm -hmm. something, but it's not a full eight hours. You're just spending probably about an hour or so just making sure he's. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, like I'm hour, gonna be rolling all my hit die to... during this short rest to recover. So Ben, you. Can oh, use your I'll keep. Die. I'll keep watch. Yeah. What was that word? You can use your hit die if you like. Yeah, I'm rolling all of them. Did that go through? With my taking all that sort of thing. Is uh, sorry. Did you say you're keeping watch? Yeah, I'll keep watch. Uh, just out towards. If there's any mo more movement or sounds? Yeah. And I'll be. Can... I'll be basically. Hey, I did my short rest with the um with my hit dice. You need to actually roll the hit dice. Ah. Like, Press the dice itself. Uh, investig uh, sorry, not investigation. Perception Wait, roll from. What does that do? Is that one d six plus one? You, Gabriel. Yes, you rolled a six. Seven. Okay. You but I've highlighted me. all three of the tokens. Yeah, you have to Click keep pressing roll hit die for all three. That's just marking them oh. off. Ah, oh, okay. I see what you mean. All right, cool. So that's six plus six, twelve. All right, cool. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Here right, with that. that perception roll. Not a whole lot. You can hear just almost like bubbling water, I guess, would be the only thing. I guess. Oh, damn it. As you kind of glance back as well, after the space of the hour, this body which you kind of set loose before slowly gets dragged into the water and you can see it kind of just slowly come over the top of him. Yeah. Not much, not much I can do down here for a burial. That's about as best burial yeah, I can while, do. While we're sitting down, I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll say to Adrian, I'm like, yeah, so I like, I heard you call out for help. So I, I, I come climbing up the cliffs and I grabbed one of them and I threw him off and then he tried coming back up and I kicked him and he went, ah! and then fell down. You are indeed, a, you are indeed a mighty warrior, far braver than me. The second I regained consciousness, I saw an opening in that creature over there. I was so scared, I, I just dove into it, not knowing what to do. I'm so glad you were here to save me, Swift. Yeah, it's really hard to protect you if you just walk off on your own, though. So, like, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe maybe you should stay with me. Ah, uh, yeah. Nick, ne next time I'll uh, I'll just yeah I'll go down with you. I thought I was uh, I thought I would be an undue strain, but <laughs> this foolish old man I am. <laughs> The hour passes by, and again you hear that kind of water. The sound of bone cracking doesn't seem to be there anymore. Perhaps it originated from those. Who knows? You can hear wind uh, blowing through. The during that hour, I'm going to go and cut the eyes out of the dire wolf. All right. As you kind of finish the rest, you just walk over. Stab. Okay. So I've got. Bruised and beaten. What would you guys like to do? Um, I'm going to stay asleep as much as I can get. <laughs> so that's our plan here, old man. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure. We're a little bit, uh, we're a little bit, um, 
I'm, 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 I'm not too sure, to be honest. Uh, I was going to just suggest we kind of, you know, keep searching these caves, seeing that I found this this nice ring, but uh, we've been so badly hurt that I definitely think we need to make it back to town. Is there any reason to stay in this cave? Well, didn't you say you had like a mission that you had to do? Oh, that was um, that was just to. Uh, 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 stop the uh, these creatures attacking the townspeople, but have we definitely got them all? Uh, well, I can't say that we have, but I, it, I it, it all depends on uh, Atlas when he comes to. If he if he feels like he needs to go back to to a doctor, we might we might have to come back and revisit this. There's no point trying to fight these things if we've got one party member almost dying. I feel they they won't be they won't be a problem now. They don't seem to be as organized as they once previously were. Mm. So maybe <clears throat> we uh, maybe we leave the um, leave the cave and back to the city. We I found the hunter. Unfortunately, he would not make it. What do you say? Uh, what do you recommend, Swift? Um, I mean, I don't really care one way or another, I think. Oh, well, can how about... Carry, can you carry Atlas? Yeah, of course. Well, how about we take it slow and we try to move out of the cave? So, uh, I definitely don't think that we should stay here much longer. Uh, nope. Believe that you guys are making your way out of the cave. Yeah. Yep. Um, I will say the bridge is perilous, but you guys have done it before. You make sure to, you know, tighten yourself up and slowly make your way across. Across. Oh, Don't drop okay. if, if we're going to cross again, is there a way for me to like make like a like a guiding wire, like with rope? To like, if I if I make it across, I tie one end to something on one end and then kind of make like a guiding almost like a you could probably just guiding. bind the logs together with a bit of rope oh right yeah make, make a like, like make it bigger yeah yeah, yeah. or other yeah yeah either a guiding wire or just like rope them together to make a more stable platform mm. You're able to kind of you notice that as you walk past again, there's the, still those eyes of those beasts up in the caves, but again, they're very reluctant. They're not pushing out when you're together as a group, assuming you're all staying together. Yep. Yeah, yeah of course. You make your way out. If anybody's lighting a torch, you notice it just gets lighter and lighter as you get further out. Uh, I'll use I'll use a produce flame. flame and just kind of lead the way. way. Yeah. And eventually, you're able to make your way out without too much hassle. All right. Is Tug coming with us, or is he? Um, I I definitely will be kind of encouraging Tug and um, and kind of feeding him treats and stuff like that. Yes, Monkey, you know is he like animal a... handling? He's gonna be coming with you regardless. To be clear, but let's see. He's like a hunting dog, right? 18. He is very much so a hunting dog. Over the space of the trip, it's only an hour or so. The rest of your, the rest of your um trip itself is pretty not just pretty uneventful for the most part but over the space of the hour or two it uh, takes you to travel back to um the town you seem to have bonded quite a bit with this dog uh, again taking awesome to make sure you're kind of taking care of him as mm. you go it definitely looks pretty wounded he's got big gashes and stuff over him some of it from mm. prior to meeting with you and I would have definitely, I would have definitely tried to see to it, uh, see to those wounds as well as um, after I've healed uh, Cruz. Sorry, that was. Um, that was you just say Cruz? Ah, uh, sorry, old fucking um, Atlas. Yeah, that's the second time he said it. Well, How do you get that confused? <laughs> By the time, it, 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 Edgy Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> mm. By the time you arrive at Riverhead. It is getting dark. It's not. It's not night time yet, but like the sun's starting to come down. It's definitely in the evening. Evening, yeah. Cool. 